There are a lot of dams in the state of Connecticut. There are over 4,000 in this state. When you remove a dam, the plants come back, the natural floodplain, birds and other wildlife species. It really benefits the entire river ecosystem. The Pond Lily Preserve and the West River are a key artery in the New Haven ecologically. There's moments when you walk around and it feels like you could be in Maine until you hear the background noise of the trucks and the, the city around you and you're reminded you're in the heart of a uh, urban location. A lot of the members of the community don't see how they are connected to nature or how important it is for these ecosystems and these, these areas to thrive. In uh, 2007, we had a major flood. And fortunately, the, the New Haven Land Trust was, was very gracious to, to let us remove the dam. The New Haven Land Trust played a critical role in this project. They are the landowner. I remember speaking to one of my friends and he was like, well, why don't you just start removing a couple of bricks and then it will drain, no problem. That sounds intuitive at first, but there's just so much more involved. It was really when Connecticut Fund for the Environment and other partners came on that there was a possibility to be able to remove this dam. They helped facilitate the permitting. They helped uh, draft some of the designs for the dam removal. And also as a large organization, they were able to secure some grants and larger partnerships, for example, with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. We look at this as a real win-win for nature and for humanity, and it's a type of project that the Coastal Program is absolutely proud to be a part of. It takes a long time to design a project and permit a project, and once we get to construction, um, the, the river is restored pretty quickly. It, it was more stubborn than they thought it was going to be. We thought that they was just, just going to fall apart, but it, that wasn't the case. They had a hammer at it pretty hard. They moved dirt, diverted a small channel to bring in the water in a safe and controlled way, then tore down that dam. To see it actually happen and to see these smiling faces of people watching the water go down, it was just an exciting moment. Seeing the river flow free has been a great experience for me. Nature is so resilient if we allow it to be. There's been alewives that have been observed in the lake uh, upstream. What's been done here is important not only to the eels and trout and shad, but also the human beings who are going to find it a resource that will last for generations. We have the benefit of being in a population center, and that means we also have the duty to teach people who are in that city about nature. I, I learned a lot about river science and the uh, effect that removing the dam would have on the ecology of the river. It's being cleaned up by community members. It's being used um, for summer camp. This gives us an opportunity to very early on start to engage with kids that otherwise wouldn't be naturally inclined to visit our properties and learn about the environment. It's just a unique tool to get them to learn to be stewards of their community, give them leadership opportunities, and to show them that they can identify problems in their community and they can be contributors to the solution. It's something unique to this area that they're gonna to continue to be able to interact with over uh, the next generation or more. It has a lot more engagement than we saw in its former state as a forgotten river behind a Walgreens. It's opened up my eyes to New Haven in a new light, and knowing that there's hiking that there's nature, that I don't have to be afraid of the woods has made a great impact on my life. We have a natural resource here and we're gonna protect it.